Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with phonearena.com and you're watching the video review of the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom. The S4 Zoom is a weird looking camera phone or rather a smartphone slapped on the back of a point and shoot depending on which way you look at it. In that sense, the design is a duality. One side looks exactly like a typical Samsung smartphone while the other looks like a typical point and shoot camera. The front of the phone has a subtle pattern underneath its Gorilla Glass and is almost an exact replica of the S4 Mini. The hardware button below the 4.3 inch display is flanked by the capacitive shortcuts for back and the contextual menu. And above the display resides the front facing camera along with the usual couple of sensors. Unfortunately, the S4 Zoom lacks a notification LED. The right side of the device sports the power lock switch the volume rocker and the two-step camera shutter button. Over at the top, you have a 3.5mm audio jack, a IR LED for controlling TVs or setup boxes and a secondary microphone for stereo audio recording in video. On the left side, you have a sealed hole that acts as a tripod mount, a micro SD card slot and a lanyard hole. The sides sport a false brushed metal plastic finish, much like any other Galaxy device you see these days. There is a big bulge at the bottom end of the back presumably to improve the grip for single-handed usage and to accommodate circuitry. The Xenon flash and the focus assist LED are present on the top left of the lens unit which is huge and sticks out of the phone in good proportions. While the back is fully made of plastic, the lens unit is actually made of metal with a grippy control ring around it. There is protective glass over the final piece of the lens and doesn't let you touch the physical shutter unlike the point and shoots that do. The optical zoom is facilitated by the Samsung made lens that expands and on top right of the lens you have a sufficiently loud loudspeaker. The bottom of the phone or the extreme left of the camera has the micro USB MHL ports and the primary microphone. Just besides that is a very flimsy battery cover which houses the battery and the micro SIM card slot. Diving deeper into the hardware, let's talk about the display first. The Galaxy S4 Zoom sports a 4.3 inch 960 x 540 QHD display based on Samsung's own Super AMOLED technology. With a proper RGB subpixel arrangement, the display is crisp with a pixel density of 240 ppi. The color reproduction and contrast are excellent but may be slightly oversaturated due to it being AMOLED. We were particularly impressed with the auto visibility on auto brightness because that's a key necessity for a camera. However, the one small issue we noted was a slight bluish gradient at the bottom end of a display that shows up in white or white related backgrounds. That aside, this is definitely a good display. The Galaxy S4 Zoom has a 16 megapixel 1x2.3 inch CMOS sensor with a pixel size of 1.34 micrometer and a f3.1 to 6.3 aperture lens. The camera is definitely the highlight of this device. With 10x optical zoom and with stabilization, the camera takes great pictures in all conditions including low light. The interface is typically Samsung with a lot of features packed in like the drama shot, erase, best shot, best face and sound and shot that you see on the S4 and modes like light race, landscape, macro and night that you see on the Galaxy camera. You can check out the full tour of the interface and the camera samples in our in-depth camera review here. The S4 Zoom takes great pictures, maybe slightly over-processed, but definitely really good pictures. It also records full HD 1080p video at 30fps and 720p video at 60fps, benefited by the OAS for non-shaky recordings. You can pause the video, take a picture while recording and even zoom while recording the video. With stereo audio, the video performance is as good as the stills. Talking of performance, the S4 Zoom is powered by the Exynos 4212 chipset with the dual core 1.5 GHz processor and a Mali 400 MP GPU. There is a total of 1.21 GB of RAM and out of which about 769 MB is available on a fresh boot. With the number picked exactly at 8 GB, it does not provide ample storage for photos and videos but you can always load up a micro SD card for media and app storage. Yes, you can natively move apps to the SD card on this phone. 
The day to day performance is decent but for this price it is desiredly mid range. The connectivity options for the S4 Zoom are pretty stocked like most recent Galaxy devices like the Galaxy Mega 6.3 for example. It has DLNA screen mirroring, NFC and Wi-Fi direct for file sharing and apps like the Cool Group Play that use these features. Coming to the software, the S4 Zoom runs on Android 4.2.2 with TouchWiz UI. The UI has improved a lot from being cartoonish to being more useful but the gimmick still exists. Apart from the annoying bloop sounds and the seemingly smart features, it has lost a lot of gradients, the settings are nicely laid out in multi-column style and the advantages of 4.2 like the lock screen widgets and quick settings are definitely better done on TouchWiz. A noteworthy Galaxy S4 Zoom specific addition is the quick access to different modes of the camera with a quick dial. One can rotate the camera zoom ring to activate this menu anywhere in the UI. Pretty intuitive. Anyways, everything aside, it all boils down to usability. A camera slapped on the back of a phone or a smartphone slapped on the back of a camera is not ideal. The device is simply too uncomfortable to be used as a phone. It is bulky, does not sit in the pockets and is awkward to use it in portrait which is the most used orientation of a phone. As a camera though, it's slightly better, but even then, the device cannot jump straight to the shooting mode from lock screen or in power down standby. And adding to that, photo apps like Instagram and Vine work only in portrait and cannot work with optical zoom. So it becomes really confusing in terms of usability, which Samsung should have given more importance to. Coming to the battery life, the 2330mAh lithium ion unit can hold its own when phone usage alone is considered with minimal camera usage of course. But if the camera is used for a prolonged period, it not only heats up the device but also drains the battery. Again, defeating the purpose of usability as a camera. The Galaxy S4 Zoom seeks to converge the capabilities of a smartphone and a good point and shoot camera, but fails at being what it claims to be, a camera phone. It also somewhat struggles to be a connected point and shoot, saddled by the burden of phone duties. It is a hack job of two completely different products and the end result is far from seamless, which the market actually prefers. If you still think you want this device, we suggest you wait for Samsung to actually innovate rather than integrate. Or of course, you can go ahead with other options in the market. Listed here are the pros and cons of this device. So that's about it for the review. Do hit the like button if you like this video and do subscribe to our channel for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.